Hi, my name is Dale Maley. In this video we're going to discuss a recent project I just finished and it involves how to build wood shelves to properly store artwork including paintings. On my project the problem that I had was we have a historic Stravel house in Pontiac, Illinois and it has one unfinished second story storage room. And somehow all the miscellaneous building materials got left in this room after the house refurbishment project was completed back in 2018. Harold Cunningham, a Pontiac artist, donated 52 paintings to the Historical Society and we really had no place to properly store them. About 12 of those paintings I have on display on the first story of the house leaving about 40 paintings to store. And the only choice I had a couple years ago when we received them was to store them on the floor and we put a plastic or a sheet over them to keep off the dusk and the sunlight. Now here are some photographs I took before I started working on the storage room. As you can see in the top left, the west wall was full of basically scrap lumber. Um, the lower left hand corner there was a lot of leftover doors, uh, including five wood doors, one aluminum screen door, and a couple of wood screen doors. Then the bottom right hand, if you look against the north wall, it had uh, basically scrap lumber and just a lot of miscellaneous junk. So, how did I get rid of all these miscellaneous items? The scrap wood, I found a farmer that burned scrap wood to heat his house and I had about a full pickup load of scrap wood. I had five wood doors and one screen door. I found a man who repurposes old doors, gave them to him. The bathroom items I put on my street curb in February and put it on Facebook as a free uh, giveaway. Whatever they didn't take I put in the February city trash. Then I had miscellaneous drywall sheets and foam which I had to cut up and bag and that went to the Fairbury City trash. On the top left hand picture these are the miscellaneous bathroom items that I put on the street curb. Uh, the bottom left is a partial pickup load of the scrap wood that's only just half or just one load out of two. And on the right hand side are all the doors that I took to a guy in Fairbury. Now for the new shelf to properly store the artwork. I wanted to make that from pine common 1x4s and then use 2x4 legs. I would make it in my Fairbury basement shop but I have to design it so it's easy to reassemble it 16 miles away in a Stravel house in Pontiac. I wanted to account for being able to store a few more pieces of art because I have 12 hanging on display so I designed some extra storage space in the shelves. I also wanted to put the paintings at a good height so people could easily view and sort them out if uh, they're going through the collection. I wanted to use 3 16 inch thick Luon plywood sides back and top and that's to keep out any dust and sunlight and then I would... Now here's the design I came up with for storing the artwork. The artwork is shown in the top shelves with multi-colors there, uh, red, blue, green, etc. I measured all the drawing or all the paintings that I had in inventory <clears throat> and then I designed the shelves accordingly to fit them. In the, I also raised them up so a, a person, an adult, could easily uh, sort through those as compared to getting down on your hands and knees and sorting through paintings that are stored on the floor. The bottom two white cubes are plastic storage totes. We have some Christmas decorations for the house that we also need to store. Uh, this drawing doesn't show the uh, thin plywood Luon sides top and the back. It also doesn't show the sheet which will be added to the front for easy access. And the whole thing is held together by a whole bunch of number eight by inch and a quarter long wood screws. Here's another view of my drawing where I do have the 3 16 inch Luan shown on the sides top and back. Then to make it easy to reassemble at the house I added some little blocks below each group of shelves. That way you could take the shelf assembly 
and just uh, lay it down on the blocks and then screw it back into place. And those little blocks are inch and a half uh, long by three quarter inch standard wood by three and a half inches. Two screws in each one. It really made it easy to reassemble it at the house. Here is what is called an exploded view of the shelf assembly. And I did this to show how I shipped the items after I built it in my basement. So I built it in my basement, then I uh, removed the screws and disassembled it, leaving these items to ship in my pickup truck. So I had six legs, so the two by four legs, with those shelf guides on them. I had seven shelf assemblies. Then I had uh, two pieces of uh, Luan sides, one piece of Luan for the top, and one piece of Luan for the back. Now here's a photograph of the finished uh, first shelf that was designed to store the artwork shown in my Fairbury Woodworking Shop. Here's a photograph of the first shelving unit for the artwork. It's installed in the <coughs> storage room in the Stravel house. The only, and I have all the artwork uh, fit into the slots. It all worked as I designed it. The Luan sides are also installed. The only thing left is to hang the sheet from the top. And what I did, I took some finishing nails and nailed the sheet on the top, <coughs> then let it drop down to cover the artwork. So if one wants to sort through the artwork, you just fold the sheet up to the top and then uh, sort through them. And then when you're done, just unfold the sheet again. The next thing on this project was to build the second set of shelves, which are intended to hold the plastic storage totes in the storage room. And you can see the overall dimensions here. Now here's the second shelving storage unit built up <coughs> in my Fairbury workshop. If you ever build uh, uh, shelves or workbenches, that are freestanding on the ground. One amazing thing that you learn is if you attach that uh, shelf <clears throat> just to one place on the wall, it goes from being very shaky and wobbly to very solid. So it really only takes one place to attach these shelves to the wall. So on this second shelf, you can see in the middle back that I made a little curved piece that screwed into the shelf itself. Then I put a piece of scrap 2x4 across a couple of the old 2x4s, screwed them in, then I screwed the shelf to that board, and then it made the shelf very rigid and very stable. Here's a photograph of the finished project. The first set of shelving on the left hand side holds the artwork on the upper shelves. I've installed the gray colored sheet, which is tack nailed to the top, and then it just hangs, simply hangs down. And if you want to access it, you can just lift it up over the top and then uh, put it back down when you're done. It keeps the uh, sunlight and the dust off the paintings. The second unit is shown on the right-hand side and uh, stored uh, to plastic totes and miscellaneous items. I even have a future empty shelf on the top in case anything else has to be stored in the future. So, in summary, this short video explains how to build a wood shelving unit to properly store artwork. I hope my project gives you some ideas for your projects. Thanks for watching and please subscribe.